Welcome to Pro Wrestling for the NES, the next stop on the road to WrestleMania. This is one of the better wrestling games for the NES. Fighter Hayabusa, Starman, who made an appearance in an independent show that was pretty funny. So I am real rusty at this game, so bear with me here. So King Corn Karn, oh, that's corny. And we also have Hulk Hogan. The Amazon, nice. And Ric Flair, woo! Seriously, King Slender, what kind of a lame name is that? Anyway, here we go. Yeah, I definitely loved this game back then, and it is much better than the Sega Master System version. We are here wrestling in EC, I mean VWA. Oh, the crowd starts chanting VWA, VWA. Alright, man, I'm getting whooped here. And I did a review with Star Soldier, or AKA Lost Weirdo, back in, I think, 2012, 2013 of this game. It's on his channel. And there's a channel called Retro SFX, or something like that, I forgot. I'll put the link in the description box. Where they, they take sound effects from video games and put them in certain movies. And recently they did sound effects for pro wrestling and put it in Nacho Libre. That's freaking hilarious. Check that out. Alright, those commentators up there look pissed off about something. I think that's Vince McMahon and Jesse the Body Ventura. No, he wore a bandana. Maybe that's Mean Gene Oakland. I don't know. I don't know if that sound effect means. I guess it means time's running out, but not really. We've got plenty of time right here. So down there where it says R5, I think that means what ranking you're at. Of course, it don't mean round five. This is the first round. And man, Star, Star, Star Soldier. Starman pwned me right here. Yeah, what a pity. That's pitiful. How pathetic is that? All right, so game over already. That's not a good sign of how good I'm going to do in this game, but I'm not going to give up yet. Now I'm picking Starman against King Corn Cornholio here. Oh, jeez, botch. This is going to be on Botchamania. Oh, nice x pot kick there. Oh, what the heck was he trying to do? Double axe handle? Oh, back suplex. Man, don't tell me I'm going to get beat by Corny here. And I don't mean James E. Cornette. Oh, brain buster. Come on, cheese. He missed. Oh, nice. Love that flip kick, whatever it was. Man, I can't play this game. This is fake. Oh, almost like a rabbit punch there. Whoa. King Corn Con. Really, I guess it's trying to be funny back then. I mean, come on. King Corn Con? Really? Oh, nice. Body slam. Oh, rabbit punch. Ah, missed with a high knee. Oh, flying elbow. Referee in position. No, two count. Oh, jeez. Alright, I know I'm not really showcasing all the moves here, but I'm just still trying to get the gist of it. This can also fall in the category of my long time no play series because it's been a while. Oh. Oh, pile driver. Oh, man. This could be it. No, kick out, kick out. Come on. Oh, man. Two and a half. Oh, jeez. Come on. You gotta be kidding. I got beat by. Cornholio? Jeez, man. 
Man, I'm getting whooped in this game. It's pathetic. Oh, well, I got another chance here. It's not game over, huh? All right. Starman versus Hulk Hogan. What was this guy's name again? Again, Great Panther, Pink Panther, whatever. I should be Pink Panther wearing pink over here. Representing Bret Hart. Get well soon, Bret. All right. Which I think he's doing good. He The cancer operation was great, and that's great to hear. All right, so. Whoa, what the heck was that? All right, nice. Oh. Oh, gave me the high knee. Oh, man, there's a fist fight going on right there. I don't want to grapple him yet because he'll recover pretty quick. And, all right, now I mean, I'll grapple him now. There we go. I'm trying to figure out how to get on the top turnbuckle, I forgot. Come on, I'm hitting all the buttons here. Oh, I didn't mean to pin him, but okay. Oh, nice. VWA. VWA. Right, no, not the NWA. Let's see if I can do something cool out here. Oh, get to right in that turn post. All right. All right. So, should be getting close to the end here. I've worn down pretty good. Come on, referee. Get position. Ah. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, man. This is a close one. Oh, man. He caught me with that X-Pac spin kick. Nice. Got him. PWA. PWA. That winner is me. All right. Oh, shoot. Starman versus the Amazon. Watch out for the eBay. Freaking Amazon had that hardcore match with the Bobo. We got to watch out. It's going to be a bloodbath. Okay, it's not going to be, be nearly as bloody as it was with uh, his match with the Bobo, but it's still going to be pretty cool. Amazon was definitely one of the characters I used when I was a kid. Alright, this promises to be an ECW matchup. Oh. The Amazon. It looks more like an alien rather than an Amazonian, but anyway. Probably the two most unique wrestlers in this game, Starman and Amazon. Starman, I guess, taking a break from Mega Man 5. This game came out way before Mega Man 5. So Capcom stole the concept from this game. Now here we go. Oh! What was that, blood? Blood in the NES game? No. Brain Buster. 
Nice, got him. All right, Starman versus Spider Hayabusa. <laughs> Jeez. Can't miss an old back body draw. Shawn Michaels' old finishing move before the super kick. Why are the commentators so angry up there? Maybe they're just intense so they're arguing with each other. Probably Jesse Ventura arguing with Vince McMahon. Shut up, big man. Ah, oh, he got it. He's pulling the hair, gorilla. That's illegal. That's Irish whip when you're right there in the ropes. Come on. <laughs> uh, referee Nick Patrick with a three count. All right, Starman on a roll here. Up, oh, Starman against Cornholio again. This time I will have my revenge. All right, come on, Star Man, be a star. Oh, nice. Oh, I kind of missed the high knee. Oh, I missed again. What the heck? Oh, didn't miss with that. For those of you who remember, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, as stupid as that gimmick was, he had an even worse gimmick in WCW. He was the booty man. So stupid. His finish move, I didn't know this till like, well, I knew it at the time. Oh, I knew it at the time, but I didn't really realize what they were doing there until I looked it up on Wikipedia. The booty man's finish move was the high knee, but it was called the high knee for a reason. Get it? High knee? Booty? Your high knee? The high knee? Yeah. Uh, I guess you got the butt end of the joke. Well, you know, no if ands, or buts. This game is pretty cool. And, yeah, seriously, though, that the booty man, I don't know what they were thinking. But uh, it doesn't compare to bootios. Just ask the New Day. But anyway. Oh, man. That, that crowd with their Mike Tyson's punch out. A uh, cheering sound effect, which that uh, special effects channel also did 8 bit sound effects with Mike Tyson's punch out into Rocky 4. Check that out. Ran to me from behind. Alright, go for the pin. Ah. Oh, oh, what? Dang. No, he didn't. Oh, oh. EC dub. EC dub. Man, that's some uh, Undertaker stuff right there. Just dive over the top, dove over the top rope. Man, if you'd have dove for that cameraman right there, the cameraman would have dropped him. All right, so All right, here we go. Ah, another two count. Brainbuster. Who remembers the Brainbusters and the WWF, managed by Bobby the Brain Heenan, Tully Blanchard, and Arn Anderson? Didn't last long. That's because Arn Anderson and I think Tully Blanchard, they wanted to go back to the NWA or WCW. Oh, flying forearm. Oh, man. Two and a half. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he did it again. Jeez. Oh. Oh, man, I almost did that same thing again. Yeah. 
Still kicks out. Man, Cornholio don't play around. Man, he's resilient. The resiliency of Cornholio. I am Cornholio. You can't beat me. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can. There you go. ECW. Well, I gotta face Hulk Hogan again. Right, well, then here we go. Star Man with those educated kicks. More educated, educated feet. Oh, headbutt. Wow. Thanks, Dennis Robin. Oh, man. There's a fist fight going on here. They're slugging it out. It's going to be a slobber knocker, King. Oh, got the Iron Claw. The Valerian Iron Claw, Starman. Irish Whip. Oh, the flying forearm. Right in the center of the ring. One, two, three. Nice. All right, rank number one. Uh oh, rematch against Amazon. Oh, the Lariat. Oh, there's a series of punches again. With a little bit of blood. Not as bloody, though, as his match with the Bobo. Blood was spilling all over the place there. It was a bloodbath. Who remembers the bloodbath with, uh, with, from the brood, Gangrel, Edge, and Christian? Oh, that body drop again. Now, I forgot what the instruction book said, so I don't know if it indicated who was a face or a heel in these games. I would like to think that Starman was a face and Amazon was definitely a heel. go again I wonder what happens there Does he, I guess he hurt, hurts his own hand what the heck is Amazon supposed to be an alien or a fish what the heck oh yeah something fishy is going on here come on referee get in position jeez Oh, I wonder what that noise was. Rah, 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 rah. I guess it means I'm in trouble. Oh. Nice. Pwned. All right, all right. The main event, Starman versus Ric Flair. Woo. Whether you like it or whether you don't like it. This is the best wrestling game going today. Woo! Well, maybe not today, but back then, maybe. I mean, this came out in 86. This is before WWF WrestleMania. So it's probably the only wrestling game going on at the time. I don't know. 
86, I mean, that was back during WrestleMania 2 and the NWA and the Four Horsemen in their prom, so. And Hulk Hogan was, uh, yeah, I think he was in his prom, too. Yeah, 86, definitely, because Hulkamania started pretty much in, like, 84. So I wonder if Giant Panther and Slender Man, or whatever this is, is uh, based off Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan. Oh, come on, Ric Flair, do your patented chops and do your strut. Woo! You keep your mouth shut, fat punk! Oh! <laughs> Get up! Oh, close! Oh, back body drop. Uh, AI is getting a little smarter now. <laughs> I just ran away from him and again. Oh. Yeah, imagine Rick Flair doing one of those spin kicks in the air. Well, could this be it? Oh, it is. Nice. All right. Won the championship. You are the BWA champion. Let's defend the title. Let's not. That is all I'm going to showcase right here for pro wrestling for the NES. So, yeah, this is pretty fun to play when I was a kid. I think I did beat it back then. I don't remember. If I did beat it, I didn't defend the title. But, yeah, pretty fun wrestling game. Much better than WrestleMania for NES and pro wrestling for Sega Master System. So, there might be a little roadblock on the way to WrestleMania, as I am working on my GoldenEye LP as well. I'm trying to get both the Road to WrestleMania series and GoldenEye series finished before April, before I go out of town for WrestleMania. So, and plus I gotta work and do other stuff, so if there's a delay, and if I don't get to do certain wrestling games that I have on my list... I apologize, but I will do it the best I can. So stay tuned for more of Road to WrestleMania. This is Ron Moore. God bless and take care.